Hey guys, welcome back or it's your first time to my channel. Welcome. So today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look that you're seeing on my face right now. I really wanted to do something that was like slightly holiday inspired, but also not your typical red lip gold eyes, even though I love that type of look. I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I went with a cool tone lip color and more of like a pink vibe on the eyes. And an extra bonus is that everything on my face is actually from NYX Professional Makeup. So... It's all affordable. Today's video is also in collaboration with NYX. I'm so excited to be working with them today and I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy the look that I created using all of their products. Do not forget to let me know down below some of your thoughts. What is your personal go-to lip color for the holidays? Like give me the exact shade. I would really, really love to know. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that bell button and subscribe if you'd like to be part of the fam. Without further ado, Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so I'm first gonna start off with my eyes. I did already do my base as well as my brows off camera. So I'm gonna jump into the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. This one is in the shade Warm Neutrals. It's my favorite out of all of these Ultimate palettes. I really like this one, obviously, because it has a ton of warm tones. I mean, who doesn't like a good amount of warm tones? So I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm going to use this neutral brown right over here just as my transition shade for this eye look. So I'm gonna start off by just buffing this right above my crease now even though applying a transition shade can sometimes be a little bit boring like it's not the most exciting step in the world it's probably one of the most important steps when it comes to applying eyeshadow because it'll just help everything else blend really really seamlessly so you'll get a really beautiful gradient effect so now it's time to start to add some depth to this eye look so I'm gonna take a smaller denser brush and I'm going to grab this shade right over here it's just a few shades darker than the first shade that we used and what i like to do normally with my eyeshadow looks is i like to go really slowly so i don't like to jump from the transition shade to like the darkest crease shade because it's just going to make it really hard for everything to blend into each other nicely so that's why i'm adding this sort of like in between shade so that everything will blend seamlessly and this one i'm applying more directly into my crease i'm not blowing it out as much as the other shade Alrighty, so now it's time to really darken everything up and I'm going to grab this reddish brown shade and I'm going to use this on this brush right over here. It's another like pretty dense blending brush, but it has a little bit of an angle to it. So it's going to work really well to place it on the outer corner of the eye. So I'm basically just going to like stamp it on that outer corner to really get that intensity and sort of just put a little bit of it just like halfway into my crease, just like that. And once I apply it, I'm gonna to start to blend it with the last brush that I used. So next, it's time to apply the lid shade. I'm gonna be taking the new metal palette. This is part of the In Your Element collection. And this palette, you guys, has just the most amazing collection of metallic eyeshadows. And these aren't just like metallic eyeshadows. They're almost a hybrid between like metallic and a glitter. So they apply like a metallic, but they have the intensity of a glitter. That's actually the perfect way to describe them. So I'm gonna go with this pink shade right over here and I'm actually gonna apply it on my finger. And I'm going to just go ahead and like swipe this all over my lid. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right over here. It's definitely a little bit brighter than the last shade that we used. And I'm going to put this right in the center of my lid. And this is going to add just a little bit of like almost a highlight to the eyelid. So just like you would highlight the tops of your cheekbones, sometimes it's really nice to highlight your eyelid. Like, do you see what a huge difference that makes? It literally makes your eyelids look glossy. And this is probably one of my favorite tricks to do when I feel like the look is lacking a little bit something, just putting like a brighter shade right in the center will really make everything just pop and look way more intense. So before I clean up my under eyes, I'm going to go in with my liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna be using my NYX Epic Ink Liner, and this one is in the shade black. This is just a felt tip liquid eyeliner. Now, I'm gonna have to be really concentrated while I do this, so I'm not gonna be able to like talk to you guys as I apply this to my eyes, so just bear with me and everybody hold your breath for me, please. Thank you so much. Okay, so I finished doing my liquid eyeliner. I also just quickly clean up my under eyes with a little bit of a makeup wipe, so now I am going to put on some concealer. I'm first taking porcelain, and I'm just applying that directly underneath my eyes, as well as hitting that inner corner, of course. So to what the f Oh my god, how did I get concealer all in my hair? 
<laughs> what is going on? Somehow I got concealer all in my hair. I don't even know how or when that happened. We're gonna deal with that, but first I'm going to just blend out my concealer so that it doesn't go anywhere. I, I honestly, I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, guys, it is time now to powder. So I'm going to take my NYX HD finishing powder in the shade Banana, and I'm going to use my same sponge and just basically take some of it and just pop that underneath my eyes as well as around my nose. Now, I actually really, really like this banana powder because it isn't too yellow. Sometimes banana powders could be too yellow, and if you have a fair skin tone, then it will literally just look yellow underneath your eyes. But this one is light enough that it will brighten up the under eyes, which is basically what yellow powder is meant to do, but it won't actually make your under eyes look like they're yellow, which is great. So now I am going to finish off the eyes. I'm gonna work on that lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back into the warm neutrals palette, and I'm gonna take the same deep red shade that we used in the crease and just apply that heavily on that lower lash line. So the eyes are basically all done now. All it's left to do is apply some mascara. So I'm just gonna go off camera and do that and I'll be back to finish off the rest of the face. The eyes are finished. I really like the way they turned out. I feel like putting that eyeshadow on my lower lash line literally made my eyes look so much bigger. It's crazy. I swear, lower lash line eyeshadow changes things, makes everything so much better. I love it. So I'm now going to go into my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm going to take this shade right over here and I'm gonna use that to bronze up my face. So I'm actually going to take this fluffy brush from the Away We Glow brush kit. This is like one of my favorite types of brushes to use for bronzer. I'm gonna first apply this on my cheekbone area to really build that up. Also gonna put some near my hairline and jawline. So for my blush today, I'm going to be taking my NYX blush in the shade Hamptons. This is one of my favorite NYX blushes. It's sort of just like the perfect cool tone pink. And on the same brush that I use for my bronzer, I'm just going to pick some of this up and just apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Oh my god, this blush is so pretty. So I'm now actually gonna take this Toronto kit and this actually comes with four eyeshadows, a blush shade, a highlighter shade, and a soft matte lip cream. But I'm gonna be using the highlighter shade from this kit on my fan brush from the same Away We Glow brush collection. And I'm just going to apply this right on the tops of cheekbones. And this highlighter actually has a little bit of like a pink, pinkish shift to it. So it actually goes really well with the pink theme that we've got going on on our face. So last but not least for the lips, I'm actually gonna go into this Satin versus Velvet Vault. <laughs> it looks like this. It has a mix of the Velvet Matte Lipsticks as well as the NYX Slip Tease Liquid Lipsticks. These, by the way, I recently tried them, are fantastic. The formula is so comfortable. It looks like a liquid lipstick, but it does not feel like a liquid lipstick at all. I'm sort of obsessed with it. So I think today I'm actually gonna use this like cool toned shade i think this will look really cool actually let's use it i really feel like using more of a cool tone lip is such an easy way to sort of just like edge up your normal lip look that you typically do because even though this is such a wearable color i feel like the fact that it's cool tone just sort of makes it a little bit different and it just looks so much cooler and it goes so well with the eyes i love it so much okay i'm excited now and we are all done. This is the finished look. It's super easy. It's a little bit smoky, but still soft and pretty since we use like very soft colors. Like nothing's harsh in this look, which I love. So guys, that is it for today's tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know all of your thoughts down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.